Are you struggling with low FPS, lag and stutters in Rust on a low-end PC? In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to unlock potato graphics, boost FPS and make Rust run smooth even on weak systems. Follow every step carefully and let's turn Rust into a smooth, high-performance experience. Gear Up Booster gives you zero ping in Rust. Just open Gear Up, choose Rust and click Boost Now. Instant lag-free gameplay. Download it from the link in the description. Step 1. Set up windows for maximum performance for Rust. First, click on the Windows search bar and type Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Then click on it when it appears. This will open the Performance Options window. Inside this window, select the option called Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off unnecessary visual effects automatically. Now, make sure two important boxes are checked. The first one is Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts, which keeps text clear and readable. The second one is Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, which allows file previews to show properly. After selecting these two options, click the Apply button. Next, go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. When everything is set, click OK to save the changes. This makes Windows faster, improves responsiveness, and helps Rust load and run more smoothly. Step 2. Unpack CPU cores to unlock full CPU power for Rust. First, you can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Your CPU has multiple cores, but Windows sometimes disables some of them to save power. This is called CPU parking, and it can reduce performance in games like Rust. To fix this, you need to unpack all CPU cores so your processor runs at full power. Download and install a trusted CPU unpack tool. After installation, right-click the application and select Run as Administrator so it has full system access. When the tool opens, it will show which CPU cores are parked and which ones are active. Click the Unpark button to activate all CPU cores. This ensures your CPU uses its full potential while playing Rust. Unparking CPU cores helps reduce stuttering, improves FPS stability, and allows Rust to perform better during intense gameplay situations. Step 3. Optimize GPU performance using MSI Utility for Rust. First, you can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Next, we will improve GPU performance using MSI Utility to reduce input delay and improve system responsiveness. Download and open MSI Utility. When the program starts, it will display a list of all hardware devices on your system. Look for your main graphics card in the list. Once you find it, check the MSI box next to it. Then set the interrupt priority to high so your GPU gets priority processing power. If your system also has an integrated GPU like Intel HD graphics, find it and apply the same settings. Check its MSI box and set its priority to high as well. After applying these changes, click apply and close the program. This optimization helps Rust respond faster, reduces input lag and makes gameplay smoother. Step 4. Apply Rust Potato Graphics settings for maximum FPS. First, you can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Now, we will lower Rust's graphics settings to potato mode for the best FPS boost. These settings are different depending on your GPU type. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, open the folder named NVIDIA Potato Graphics on your desktop. Inside, you will find two files, Rust Potato Graphics Settings and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and allow it to run if Windows asks for permission. At the top of the program, open the Profile drop-down menu and select Rust. Then, click the Import Profile button and load the Rust Potato Graphics Settings file. After importing, click Apply Changes to save everything. These settings disable heavy visual effects and reduce GPU load, allowing Rust to run much faster. If you ever want to go back to default settings, you can click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default. If you're using an AMD or Intel GPU, open the AMD Graphics folder and copy the file named GameUserSettings.ini. Press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Navigate to Rust Saved Config Windows Client. Paste the file into this folder and replace the existing file when prompted. These settings disable shadows, grass, and unnecessary effects, giving you a big FPS boost on low NPCs. Step 5. Lower keyboard input delay for faster controls in Rust. First, you can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Fast keyboard response is very important in Rust, especially during combat. To reduce input delay, open the Filter Keys Setter tool. Change the following settings carefully. Set Ignore Under to 0 milliseconds. 
Set repeat delay to 130 milliseconds. Set repeat rate to 10 milliseconds. Enable the settings by checking the box on the right, then click OK to apply them. These changes make your keyboard respond faster and improve movement and weapon control in Rust. Step 6. Disable telemetry for better performance and privacy. First, you can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Windows telemetry runs in the background and uses system resources that can hurt performance. To disable it safely, download O and O Shutup 1.0 from the official website. Open the program and select Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will disable unnecessary tracking features without breaking windows. If the program asks to create a restore point, you can skip it. Some features like clipboard sync may be affected, but all changes can be undone easily. Disabling telemetry frees up system resources and helps Rust run smoother. Step 7. Enable Game Mode and set Rust to High Performance. Open Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Then turn it on. This helps Windows focus system resources on Rust instead of background apps. Next, go to Graphic Settings, click Browse, locate the Rust installation folder and add Rust to the list. Click on Rust, set it to High Performance and click Save. This forces Windows to use your best GPU for Rust, resulting in higher FPS and better performance overall. If you followed all the steps, your Rust should now run smoother with higher FPS and less lag. If this guide helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more performance guides, and share it with anyone struggling to run Rust. Thanks for watching and enjoy smooth gameplay.